Hi, and welcome to Three Things in Three Minutes. I'm Nursi. Today we are going to be talking about Everdell from Starling Games. It is a two to four player game. There is a solo variant and it takes uh, 40 to 80 minutes. Um, and this is essentially a, a fantasy themed worker placement resource management tableau building game. You control a forest of creatures, and throughout the game, you're going to be acquiring resources and spending them in order to build what are called constructions and critters, and sometimes trying to chain them off of each other in order to get points. And the game uh, occurs through a series of seasons. Uh, things I like about this game, first of all, you'll notice that the art and the components are really quite beautiful in this game. It's really got some nice, wonderful, evocative art. Uh, even the components in this tree that you make to hold a lot of the game components are very visually striking. Um, the game is also actually pretty straightforward in terms of the gameplay mechanics. Uh, you either... Um, uh, take some worker placement actions or you pay for cards out of your hand and considering this game might appeal to a broad range of people because of the art style and because of the theme that is a good thing and one of the things that it actually does pretty well is uh, making it more accessible is that the workers you get actually gradually get added in so you uh, go from winter to spring and then spring to summer and summer through autumn and each time you'll add uh, one or two more workers so you won't get overwhelmed with options at the beginning and the game does give you multiple paths to getting points their uh, points are going to come primarily from the cards you have in your tableau but how you chain them together and how you uh, build your point engine can vary quite a bit from the game a few things to keep in mind about this game the components are beautiful and certainly the tree that you make throughout uh, to hold the game components is really quite pretty. They are a lot of them made out of cardboard and especially that tree you're going to have to take down and put up and take down every time you play the game. It's probably going to take some damage even after the first couple plays I could notice some uh, damage already on mine so just be mindful of that. Uh, the Another thing about the game is that there, when you place your workers, there are spots that are exclusive to one worker and open shared spots that are communal, uh, and they're kind of hard to tell apart. Certainly some cards you can only use, some cards other people can use as well, and the artwork is pretty subtle, so I do wish that those were a little bit more obvious in the game. And finally, the game uh, relies on you doing some chaining of some cards together, but the number of total cards you can chain is kind of small, and the deck is actually fairly large, and so it gets diluted out, and so there's a lot of luck uh, in it without any sort of drafting, and there's a hard limit on how many cards you can get, and you can't go above that. It makes it kind of hard to chain things together. So in summary, uh, beautiful art, uh, pretty accessible game, and um, just bear in mind that the chaining and drafting, uh, the chaining of the cards is pretty luck-based. Thanks for watching. Please leave comments and subscribe.